I'm back. B Chase Williams is back, y'all. Back. back in full I'm effect. Back. Better than ever before. Definitely. Putting it down. Hello. Welcome. Hill Green TV. It's your host, Hill Green, right here. And in case you didn't know, I'm sitting here with national recording artist, producer, songwriter, radio show host, some of everything, some of this, some of that, B. Chase Williams. What it is, y'all. What's Hi. up? What's hey, up? Hey, what's good? Not much. Just, I'm honored to be sitting here with you. That's what's up. Me as well, man. I mean, you doing big things. I thought I was doing some big things, but no. You doing big things, We both man. doing big things. All right, we both like doing to hear it together. that. So tell us about some of the big things you got going on. I mean, well, most recent, I just launched my new radio show on the Freedom Radio Network. Um, the Radical Inspirations with B. Chase Williams. It comes on Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 12 noon Eastern Standard Time every day. It'd be radically uplifting, it's crazy, it's hot, it's banging. You need to log on, check us out, be bringing you some of the hottest sounds from independent as well as mainstream artists from across the country. Most of them are my friends, people that I um, have in relationship with. And it's just an awesome show, do interviews and things of that sort. So it's really great, I'm really excited about it. Never really thought that I would get into radio, okay, so to okay. speak. But um, when people hear my voice, they've always like, "You got a radio announcer voice. You, you sound like you got a radio." So I'm excited about it. It's hot. I'm enjoying it. I'm it's really, awesome. I'm enjoying the ride. It's really cool. That's what's up. So I hear you also. Um, you're in the process of releasing your third album. Releasing my third record. Yes, definitely. Um, R three entitled "Redeemed, Reconciled, and Released." Okay. And my first one was entitled Take a Trip. Second one was entitled Give It Up. And now we're getting ready to release the third one. So I'm excited about that. That is awesome, man. I mean, I can't say it enough. Big things popping in 2012. So as far as you're concerned, what are some things that you envision yourself doing even greater in 2012? 2012 for me is a... Um, it's more, more of a relaunching of my career, okay. um, of my life. Um, okay. For like maybe the last few years, went through some stuff. Um, I think I released my first national major, I signed my first major national record deal in 1995 wow. and released my first national CD. Um, and it went to the top of the charts. It stayed in the top 10 on Billboard's gospel charts for around um, 19, 20 weeks straight. Wow. Okay. Um, toured all over the country and internationally then followed up with my second project give it up it kind of followed the same path okay. and that's really what helped really create my name B. Chase Williams and get me out there um, was blessed to be able to be a part of a lot of gospel stage plays that toured around the country okay. um, was able to make some cameos and a couple movies what? and things of that sort okay. got stellar award nominations um, Gospel Excellence Award nominations, NAACP Phoenix Award nominations. So, um, but it was probably mm, maybe around seven or eight years ago, things were kind of like slowed down for me. Okay. And okay. I wasn't kind of feeling it because I was so used to the stride, you know, okay. the move. And okay. so. As things were coming down, it just seemed like my focus got a little deterred and mm. I allowed myself to get caught up into some stupid stuff and just got off track. So I'm back on track. I'm excited. I'm recommitted to fulfilling my purpose and my destiny. That's what it's all and about. And I'm back. That's what I'm talking about. B. Chase Williams is back, y'all. Back. back in full I'm effect. I'm back. Better than ever before. Definitely. Putting it down. I'm really excited to hear that. So, just um, how can we get up with you uh, as far as your radio station, your radio show is concerned? Radio show, you can log on, like I said, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 12 noon Eastern Standard Time at www.freedemradio. F R E E D E M. Not freedom, but freedom. Radio.com. Um, log on, hit listen live, check me out, 
I'm, I I assure you that you really will enjoy the show. It's okay. crazy. It's, it's bananas. Um, personally, if you want to reach me, you can hit me up. My email is bchaseradio at gmail.com. You can follow me on Facebook, uh, facebook.com, bchasewilliams, or facebook.com forward slash bchasewilliams, um, where I have a personal page and I also have a fan page. Okay. You can check me out on twitter.com. B. Okay. Chase Williams, or you okay. can go to my website, www.bchasewilliams.com. Okay, so a little bit more about your album and some of the artists that you've worked with. Oh man, some of the artists that I've worked with. One of the, it's just funny that we're actually having this interview at this particular time because um, on the eve of Whitney Houston's um, home going, um, which is in the ne next couple days, um, when I was a little kid, Whitney's church, New Hope, used to come to my church in Cincinnati. Okay. And back then, she wasn't Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. She was just Whitney mm -hmm. that sang in the church choir. And her okay. mother, Sissy, was the minister of music. Mm -hmm. And me and Whitney actually sung a song together entitled, Don't Leave Me, Lord, Don't Leave Me. Wow. And I always, I've never forgotten that. Okay. Never forgotten that. Um, and so it's just kind of funny. I have mixed emotions about, you know, her passing and her mm -hmm. death and things of that sort. So never professionally worked with Whitney as Whitney Houston, right. but um, I was able to professionally work with Michael Jackson. I sung background oh. vocals on his They Don't Care About Us. Um, All I want to say is that they, they don't, don't really, really care, care about, about us. us. Yes. I was, Man, you know, so many people slept on that song. Yes, that I song know. Was so hard. Man, we had so much fun in Sony Studios in New York Stop doing playing. that. Stop playing. So you worked with Michael Jackson. I worked, I worked so, with Michael. So, yo, y'all don't understand. This dude worked with Whitney Houston, the queen of pop. Didn't really and, work with her. She and, wasn't Whitney then. Well, but. you know, hey, you know, you don't work with the king and the queen of pop the king, and that's what that's why i'm like so i lost it's like they gone you know what i'm saying yeah. and it's like so crazy to me but from a secular standpoint i've worked with them from another secular point sung background with garth brooks my group has done some stuff with garth brooks before um and everybody gospel from kirk franklin to um, Donnie McClurkin, Hezekiah Walker, Donald okay, Lawrence, okay. Um, James Hall, Karen wow. Clark, Clark Ty Sisters, Trebet. Vicki oh, Winans, Ty Trebet. If you call Ty right now and ask him, tell me about B. Chase Williams, he'll tell you I knew B. Chase before he was B. Chase Williams. Oh, I knew so Ty crazy. when he was a little kid playing on the organ. Okay. His mother and father were um, our national minister of music of our church organization. Wow. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, the Lord has really blessed me to be connected with a lot of people, phenomenal people in the industry. That's so. awesome. Well, I'm glad to have connected with you, man. And you likewise. Because everything is by divine design. That's you right. Know? And Nothing everything happens for a purpose. Exactly. It's happens all for a purpose. purpose. You're exactly Definitely. right about that. So as we wrap things up, because understand, this is just beginning. You know, uh, we just testing the waters with this interview here. It's definitely right. going to be a part two, maybe the part three. Definitely. You never know. You know, we got a lot of things Because there's so much on. stuff happening in my life. All right. That's what's so up. Much. Glad to hear about that. So as we wrap things up, anything you want to put out in the atmosphere? Anything you want your fans to know? I just want my fans to know that I am just like you. I'm, I don't think that I'm better than you. Everything that I do... I was created for a purpose, and that purpose was, if it's through my music, it's to bless and encourage you, to strengthen you, to empower you, mm -hmm. to hang on in there, to, no matter what you're going through, to put a smile on your face. Um, if it's through acting, to make you laugh, mm -hmm. to make you cry, mm -hmm. to help you know that the same things that you experienced, I experienced. I'm no better, I'm no worse. We're all the mm -hmm. same, and we all in this thing together trying to make it. That's I right. need your support. Mm -hmm. You need my support. That's so right. let's just support each other and push each other all the way to the top. I know. That's right. One more thing. What's your favorite Bible verse and why? My favorite Bible verse right now in my life because you know how we talk about haters a lot? Mm -hmm. uh, everybody want to hate on everybody, and mm -hmm. nobody wants to really join forces and push one another mm -hmm. together. And move forward or progress forward so my number one 
my favorite Bible verse right now would be Isaiah 54 and 17, mm. where it says, No weapon that's formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against you in judgment thou shall condemn. Don't worry about your haters, because God already got them taken care of. I know, that's right. Hey, I couldn't have said any better. I really appreciate your time. Thank I appreciate you so the opportunity. Much. Yeah. So there you have it, folks. B. Chase Williams, your girl Hill Green. Hill Green. Big things popping in 2012. See you later. Signing off. Peace. Yeah. I'm back. B. Chase Williams is back, y'all. Back. back in full effect. I'm back. Better than ever before. Definitely. Putting it down.